What is up, Comfort Killers? I am Stacey A. Cross. There is no E in it. Pull the E out. Kept it for energy. Highly energetic. Love you. And I just, I'm, I just want to be here and be the catalyst that gets you to move. And if not me, then the company. So first thing I want you to do is go to thecomfortkillers.com right now. And I have a free ebook for you there. And you can also go get the Comfort Killers Freedom System. Oh, you have that's the back end of my website that's like everything i've ever done and i want to give that to you for totally free so go ahead thecomfortkillers.com and and you know lead me on all my socialite sites at stacy a cross on anything everything i'm coming through here to do another book review and this one is ask and it is given learning to manifest your desires learning to manifest your desires this is by esther and jerry hicks teachings of Abraham Hicks. Uh, the way that this book found me was sort of, uh, yeah, I guess a, a little bit, a little bit of magical there, a little, little magic on there. Well, what the case was with this book is I was speaking to a friend over in London, Utam R. Miraz, shout out yourself, Utam from Facebook. And we were on the phone, we we're having a conversation and he said, Hey, have you ever read Ask and It Is Giving? Given? And I said, no, I don't even have the book. So what I did was take out my trusty phone here, went straight over to Amazon, looked at it, and then I was signed in the wrong account on Amazon. So I just was like, let me do it when I get up to my apartment. I come up to my apartment and then I start typing in Amazon and boom, something said, Stace, turn around, look at the bookcase you have. Look at, look at, look at the gold you have. And, uh, I, something drew me over there and I have the book. I had the book sitting on the bookcase. Now, what was important about that conversation is that this forward of this book is written by Wayne, Dr. Wayne Dyer. I don't know if you know him, know of him, but it's good to catch up on Dr. Wayne W. Dyer. He has created a lot of great stuff as far as, you know, getting you on your spirituality, power of intention. Uh, he's a best-selling author. And so in the forward, it actually says, my first thought is that, that if you're not ready to read and apply this great wisdom, then I urge you to simply carry this book with you for a few weeks. Allow the energy that it contains to permeate through any resistance that your body, mind might offer and let it resonate with that inner place that is formless and boundaryless. This is what is often called your soul. So pretty much he's saying that this book is powerful in its way that even if it's sitting, it will permeate, permeate through, but when you're ready. So this book been sitting on my shelf. I guess I was not ready for it. I'm going to just use that as, uh, you know, to say that I was not ready for it until I spoke to my friend and we were talking about, uh, spirituality and how sometimes you disconnect from your spirituality. I don't know if you're having this or if you're, you're thinking about this or any time this ever came across, but have you, you know, get to a place, you know, you've done some stuff, you got to a place and you may feel a little disconnected from self. You know, you're not disconnected from anyone. You're not trying to, you know, be a loner or stoner or anywhere. You just are a little disconnected from yourself. So, you know, I was, I, you know, about a month ago, I started feeling like, Oh man, I got to kind of get back into myself. And the way that I know this is that, you know, I'm a, you know, big on meditation. I'm big on just kind of, uh, the thought process and then letting that thought process, you know, give you that energy because it's you really. And so when he mentioned this book, I was like, Oh wow. You know, I'm going to go get it and I'm going to read it. So the beautiful thing about this, and it's a funny story because someone had asked me, I believe a year ago. Hey, you listen to Abraham Hicks or maybe even less than a year ago. You listen to Abraham Hicks. And I was like, I don't listen to him. <laughs> and I said, so I like totally like, I think it's like, I think I listened to him or I think I heard some of his stuff. And then little do I know it's a, it's Esther Hicks channeling an entity, Abraham, which is a group of people. Now it goes off to start. It starts off by telling Esther's story and how, you know, she wasn't close minded, but she allowed whatever was happening as far as, you know, her spiritual awakening to take shape. A lot of people don't do that. I don't know if you're like that, where, you know, you're so close minded 
Oh, you're like, no, 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 are you talking that spiritual stuff? Hell no, get out of my face. There's people like that, and you can't say nothing like energy, spirituality, but you can't say these words. They want they want you to say words like Jesus Christ all the time. So that's fine. Or they don't even want you to say that. They're like, listen, I don't even want no parts of nothing, okay? I am me, and it's the Big Bang Theory over here. Big Bang Theory. Um, and then you have people that are a little open, but... You know, they're hearing it often, more more often than not now. And they're like, you know what, maybe I should, maybe I should listen. Okay, maybe I should see what that's all about. And then you have people like me that has, and I know there's a lot of people like that, that has feel, felt that awakening, that shift, and it started within how they feel, you know, looking at everything like, yo, this is the oneness, the oneness. I love everything, I love everyone. And, and applying it to your life, but also understanding who you are and, and who you are becomes the most important person in this game of life. Now, if you've had issues or you've had a period of depression or you've had anger and we all went through this, envy, jealousy, uh, stubbornness, procrastination, all sorts of things where you're even getting mold, molded from all points around you, right? You're getting molded, you know, whatever your, 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 your spouse wants, that's who you're going to fit into. You're going to fit into that box that your spouse wants. You're going to fit into the box of what society wants for you, for what tradition wants. And you're like, yo, and you're screaming. Your, your own self is screaming to get out of that mess. Well, this book and... um. Wait, I was going like this. This book, this book is really a good um, starter. Probably the one all that you would need. So let's get in the book and see what, what makes it so special. The first thing that makes it special is understanding that we have a stream of well-being and we are the source of our realities. We are the source. We are creators. And we have a stream of goodness. We don't have a stream of badness. We don't have a stream of evil, right? That just doesn't exist in this beautiful, abundant, benevolent world that you live in. And the benevolent source or God uh, that is given to you, God doesn't give you evil, okay? Maybe you're resisting the stream of goodness and benevolence that you already have pouring in you because you were created at with such with, with such care with such a uh, beautiful and beauty and joy that you were created to just go out here and explore and you knew that so what abraham hicks is saying here is you already knew why you came here you already knew that you will listen to your emotions to know if you're on or off purpose. Another book by Jack Canfield is The Success Principles, where I first heard about this inner guidance system that lets you know when you're off or on purpose by the amount of joy that you're receiving. Well, in this book, here it comes again, right? But this is the emotional scale, right? Where are you on the emotional scale? And once you realize that even if you're at the lowest point, which you call depression, where you don't even want to open the blinds, right? You're like, keep it dark in here. You know, uh, I don't want to see nothing. I don't even want to see the light. You're depressed, right? You don't want to go outside. You want to talk. You don't, you don't want to be bothered. Okay, so even one level up from that, which you may have as anger, will help you get a feel of a better feeling. So you get relief, even going up to anger. But what happens, right? When we're in depression, people say, hey, you can't be angry. Stop being angry. Why are you so angry all the time? But really, it's helping that person that's moving from depression all the way up to up the emotional scale. So the emotional guidance system that's being uh, uh, talked about here is just let you know there's two emotions. You feel good or you feel bad. If you feel good, you're connected to the source. If you feel bad, something is re resisting it. And in here, I'm, I'm having all these sorts of like allergies. I'm like, ah, 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 ah. And in here also speaks about 
um, the law of attraction, and right, you know what what the law of attraction is. We all heard it. And if you don't know what the law of attraction is, I suggest you go look some information up on the law of attraction. The beautiful thing about to know about the law of attraction is that like attracts like. You get more of what you think about. Your dominant thought is always a magnet. It's a magnet. And even when you think you're not thinking, you're thinking about something. I'm telling you, or you're feeling something. So that's why I wrote, I did this thing where it says, you know, instead of think and grow rich, it might've been feel and grow rich, did that. And I, and I said, your feeling really is an indicator of where you need to be going. And if you're amongst the right people, if you're amongst the right crowd. So the question to ask is, how are you feeling? How are you feeling today? And what are you going to do about it? Knowing where you're at, you could choose different thoughts to think. So if you're choosing a thought that sucks, right? Your car is a clunker. The car sucks. The damn thing turned off. I want a new car. Okay? It's like, I want a new car. So that's a desire. You put a desire out there and it starts, it starts working its magic. But guess what? If you're really in a place where you're not expecting that new car, where you have doubt, where you don't feel like you're worthy for that new car, then the law of attraction won't, won't work. Because the law of attraction is confused, just like you're confused. You keep talking about this old clunker, but on the other hand, you're talking about you want a new car. So how do you go about expecting? How do you go about changing your thoughts and being dynamic? So really, you're directing and guiding your thoughts. You're not just letting them loose, not paying, they're, they're not even paying rent up here. You're not acknowledging them. Like, what the hell am I thinking? So each day you go through, and this book will help you, each day you go through, why do I keep like, uh, each day you go through, you will see, hey, you know, and, and you really start becoming good at this because you're like, oh man, I don't want to think that. I don't feel good thinking that. That that hurts my feelings. I don't want to do that. So you put yourself in a better state and the ultimate state is joy. The ultimate state is joy. If you are having a grand old time, everything is good. You feel clear. You're clear. Look at how you're in flow. That's what I call it. You're in a state of flow where things are just attracting at a fast pace and you're really oscillating and vibrating. So your energy, you're vibrating and other things are vibrating that wants to be attracted to you, but still you're holding on to other lower energy, lower dimensional. I mean, the thing is like nasty thoughts. And of course that thing won't come to you. Okay. Whatever thing that you want to put there will not come to you because you have not, um, you not, you didn't pay the price. And that, that's what it boils down to. You did not pay the price. So this book is a great asset for you. As you can see, where am I? Bang. Um, this book is a great asset to you. Go ahead and pick it up now. And all my links are in the show notes below. And I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you for rocking with me. I am Stacey A. Cross. And there is no E in my name. Until next time, comfort killers.